drama been drama arab drama all a drama nyar drama asi drama aterere drama etc etc ay 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 yeah you know there is drama and then there is what has just happened which is beyond drama somebody has filed a petition at the national assembly for a law to be passed barring the deputy president from vying for the presidency immediately after their term ends bila kizungumingi it would mean the deputy president regadi gashagwa would be disqualified for vying for the presidency in 2027 or whenever the next elections will be held what now i appreciate the fact that many of us may not fully comprehend what the fuss is all about kumekucha what is the big deal here you're saying this thing is beyond drama what do you mean let me explain point by point Point number 1 Somebody has seen something here yeah of, of course ruto handlers which the rest of us have not seen <laughs> I'll come back to that in a minute because I think I know what they have seen and it is eh explosive moto kuliko pasi ya maka Point number 2 It is very difficult for anybody to convince me that this petition has nothing to do with the UDA or the Kenya Kwanza government even if it is an individual he has been sponsored to file this petition that is what most Kenyans believe and i believe the same it is very hard to convince any of us otherwise and that is important because it tells us this ruto gashagwa manenos has reached a very crazy place a very crazy stage point number 3 even if somebody ends up tabling this petition as a motion in parliament there is no guarantee that it will go anywhere had this come up at around the time the 2023 finance bill was passing it would have sailed through but today vindu we change anga things are different in parliament deputy president regadi gashagwa has marshaled his troops he has mp's on his side and don't be fooled he knows how to play this game if it is about money he knows how to play that one If it is about protecting MPs who side with him you can be sure he knows how to play that one as well Kama Uhuru Kinyata and Raila Odinga walishindwa na Ruto I think it goes without saying that Gashagwa will be able to hold his own to the very end and indeed additional evidence to support that is the filing of this petition in parliament to stop him but let us revisit point number 1 so that we will understand the full weight of what is going on here now for a minute imagine a scenario in 2027 where regadi gashagwa vies for the presidency okay i want you to think a little deeper about this one i'm not talking about gashagwa winning the presidency no i want you to look at this in another way Mount Kenya fielding a major candidate Rigathi Gashagwa now the problem with that wait for this one is that it will be impossible to rig an election where you have three strong candidates yep you heard me right to rig an election you need two candidates and a lot of predictability now i can read your mind some of you will say gashagwa is not such a strong candidate that's okay 
However, I want you to remember that when a tribe fills a presidential candidate, everything changes. And Mount Kenya has the numbers. And so if even Bonagashagwa gets half of the votes cast, it will be a substantial amount of votes and it will mess up everything especially for somebody who wants to rig themselves back into power. I want us to look at another scenario. Mount Kenya fields a presidential candidate regarding Gashagwa. However, the voters reject him en mass. Where are those votes bound to go? Definitely not to Ruto. I think we all know that. And this introduces yet another complication for anybody who wants to rig the vote because it would be much easier to do so without a strong candidate from the Mount Kenya region you can always pretend that your votes came from there exactly what happened in 2022 but with a presidential candidate from the region that becomes very difficult to pull off bottom line clearly the nightmare for Ruto handlers is to have Rigadi Gashagwa vie for the presidency in 2027. That appears to be the nightmare. And I've already given you quite a few reasons why somebody should have a nightmare over Rigadi Gashagwa's candidature for the presidency. You know, I wish this had been tabled in parliament when Uhuru was president and Ruto was deputy. Although, admittedly, it would have gone nowhere. Ruto already had grabbed parliament when Uhuru was still president. He still had his majority in the house. Not only that, there is another hiccup that even affects this latest petition yeah, targeted clearly at Gashagwa. And that is, will this stand up to our constitution? I don't think so. In my view, even if it is passed by parliament, it will be very easy for somebody to go to court and get it declared null and void. Although one cannot rule out the possibility of people using their power to bully the judiciary and have their way. But still, it is a law that cannot stand the constitution and cannot stand the test of time. You cannot prevent anybody from vying for any position in the country called Kenya. That is a tall order. Let's just speak the truth. But there's something else much more disturbing, in my opinion, about this petition filed in parliament to stop Kashagwa. Yeah, from vying for the presidency in 2027. In my opinion, I smell a rat. And I smell the involvement of powerful forces which may not be necessarily Kenyan. You know an international fixer who fixes political problems for a client? This is exactly the kind of thing they would come up with and then work very hard to remove all obstacles to see it through yeah, through even the judiciary system which is exactly what happened in August 2022 somebody removed all the obstacles including the Supreme Court and somebody became president let us not fool ourselves what happened in 2022 was not something that is easy to pull off. It required a lot of work. It required the pulling of a lot of strings to make it work. And this is yet another reason why I would recommend to those who are in a position to make sure that they get hold of my very latest highly sensitive special report, Terrible Secrets of Uncle Sam. In the country called Kenya. Now you can see details on the screens right now. You have an opportunity of getting only this special report at Kenya Shillings 3000 
999 as opposed to getting a package of this report and all previous highly sensitive special reports yeah for Kenya shillings 4999 so please take your pick and act fast because this particular offer is in the stage we call in Kenya Kipindi Chalala Salama it is almost coming to an end so please act fast until next time this is Chris Kumekucha.